I'm, it's been a week. I'm still not over the show. I will never be over the show. Shonda Rhimes, if you're listening to me right now, actually, first of all, hire me. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Yoko Debora, student singer, songwriter, and everything else in between. And today I'm back with something a little bit different. So, Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, just released on Netflix, like how many days ago? I don't know, child. All I know is, is that when it was released, my life has never been the same. And let's talk about it. I have bombarded my friends. I have bombarded my family. I have bombarded my fellow colleagues. I have bombarded my fellow students at school. No one is safe from me and this TV show. I thought it would be grand. I thought it would be amazing. I thought it would be revolutionary. If we tier rank all the characters that either gave me life or bothered the fuck out of me. Okay, let's keep in, in this tier ranking list, we have the bottom tier, absolute garbage trash, deserves jail time, died a hole. There are some characters in the show that are absolute garbage. Absolute trash, they really just mm, died a hole. You know what I mean? Respectfully? Not respectfully, respectfully though. Not really respectfully, die in a hole. A step above that is close to garbage. Not the worst, but almost there, you know? Then we have the middle tier, the neutral tier. Meh, I feel nothing. I felt nothing for you. You brought nothing to me. You gave me nothing. And frankly, I, you are so unmemorable. I don't even remember you. Meh. A step above that is you're doing amazing, sweetie. Keep doing it. These are for characters that are not top tier just yet. But honestly, I love the presence. I love the vibe. I love what you're doing. You're doing what you what you are supposed to be doing as a character, and that's on that period. And I love that for you. Period. And of course, the top tier list is top tier, hundred percent stan. Would fight for. Deserves the world. These are for my beloved characters. Mm -hmm. You deserve the world, sweetie. Would I die for you? No. But I would fight for you. Sure. Absolutely. The first character we have is of course a young Queen Charlotte. I would have done an older Queen Charlotte as well, but that would be too long of a list. And frankly, I just feel, feel like Charlotte still remains Charlotte. Like even if she's an older woman, she's still quite the icon. Queen Charlotte is one of the most entertaining characters that I've seen in quite a while. She's got wit, she's beautiful, she has got style. Have you seen those wigs, those wigs? Girl. Is she a little bit emotionally unavailable with her children? Yes, but we're not here to talk about that right now. <laughs> okay. She is an icon for her time. And I feel like her coming onto screen was just so refreshing, even amongst other characters that were also like within nobility or royals. Like she just brought what needed to be brought. At the beginning, she was also quite lost and she didn't really know what was going on. But then as she realized that, hey, I'm queen, she got into it very quickly. I said, yes, Charlotte has arrived. Charlotte is the queen, bow down to her, period. Charlotte, it's a top tier character. I 100% stand her. Even in Bridgerton, I stand her. Next up, <laughs> I forgot to put this in order and I already see one of the worst characters I think I really just like despised in this whole entire show. What's her face again? Wait, hold on. I forgot her name. I remember her. I forgot her name because that's how unmemorable she was. Oh, Vivian Ledger. Vivian Ledger? <laughs> Vivian Ledger, Miss Vivian, who are you? Who asked you to be here? And frankly, I <laughs> I've never despised a character more. No, actually I have. I have never disliked a character more within at least 10 minutes of seeing them on screen. Not only is she racist, <laughs> she's also just such a Karen. And frankly, I do not support Karens. I don't like Karens, throw them in the trash. But Vivian Ledger was just an extra layer of just, unnecessary frankly look i do not condone cheating but in this situation i was not formally against it you, okay okay personally she was a trash character hated her hated how she treated lady agatha just throw her in the trash she's absolute garbage um deserves jail time dine hole in my personal opinion at some point i was wondering how does someone so sweet and kind like violet bridgerton come from this woman like how does that work i'm just very glad that violet wasn't like her at the end but honestly a trash character never want to see her again absolute garbage anyway next up ugh. <laughs> the order that i put this in is absolutely ridiculous lord butte the parliament man um that just kept on pushing everyone to their final fucking limit lord butte what was the reason? Why were you here? Why are you so nosy? Why can you, ugh, why are you so involved in everybody else's business except your own? Where's your own wife? Where's your own wife? Oh, that's right. You have none. 
yeah that's what i thought the blatant racism that he shows towards charlotte just threw it away from me i was like oh wow so you really like this huh disgusting I, I don't think that really needs much more elaboration like he's a trash character i never wanted to see him again and frankly like just die in a hole like that's how i felt the whole entire episode sorry sorry not sorry bye okay so he's absolute garbage trash period next up coral coral miss girl i love coral Coral, I want to be besties with Coral. Coral, her friendship with Lady Danbury, immaculate. I was, I, mm -hmm, I love Coral. Coral is, I think, one of the only reasons Lady Danbury was able to like really survive within her household because of the trauma she experienced, but we'll get to that later. Coral, absolute icon. I personally believe she deserved better. I mean, she did kind of get better. I mean, for like her status in her society at the time, she did get a bigger house and she continued working for Lady Danbury, but I would love to see a Coral spinoff. Like that is how much I loved Coral. Coral, entertaining. She had the wit, she had the sass. She had, even when Lady Danbury was out philandering with said person that we'll talk about later, Coral was like, oh girl. Okay, girl, get your bag and this on that period. I loved that she never judged Lady Danbury. I loved that she was in with the plans. That's how much Lady Danbury trusted her. And like, I just, oh, like if I was in this world, I would love to have Coral by my side. Coral, absolute stan. Love Coral, Mwah. 10 out of 10, deserves the world, top tier, would stand fight for it deserves the world period next up lady agatha danbury <sighs> ciao this is one where i'll actually separate older lady danbury with younger lady danbury in this situation but honestly older lady danbury still slaps like i don't know who likes you like that she's still an icon she's the reason why half of bridgerton is together at this point like i i just i, I love her where do we start with lady agatha throughout the whole entire show the scenes the explicit scenes that came up really i don't know if anyone can relate to this but those scenes traumatized me like when she had to sleep with her husband dude i was so traumatized that i literally had to skip because i just i couldn't do it anymore like I, I can only imagine what she was feeling at the time and the fact that she was able to stay strong throughout that not to mention her dirt bag trash bag of a husband undermined her his nasty ass dirty ass <sighs> <laughs> I hate him so much. Lady Agatha Danbury is literally the pinnacle for changing Bridgerton society. Like that, and her, oh, she's just such an icon. The fact that she survived such a terrible marriage and she talked about the trauma and how she was built to just serve this man. Either way, like she still managed to get her power through it, even throughout the relationship when her husband was undermining her left, right, and center because he's a bum and he cannot do anything. Lady Agatha was like, sure, it's because of you that people were here. No! It's not because of you people were here. It's because of Lady Agatha Danbury in this song, period. Lady Agatha deserves the world. I don't care. She deserves, first of all, a better relationship. Number two, she deserves eternal happiness. And number three, she deserves a lifetime achievement award, period. She faced a uh, princess, what's her face? Augusta, you know, the racist mama. Yeah, her. Agatha faced her. She knew how to play politics. She got her own. She finally got her lick back. Finally, thank God. She remains an amazing friend to Queen Charlotte. Their friendship, mwah, immaculate, beautiful. We love women supporting other women. She fought for basically the whole black nobility side to be able to integrate into Bridgerton. Like without her, coming to the queen and being such a smart ass woman where would we be in Bridgerton? not that Bridgerton really exists but you know what we're here we're here why not would love her to be my aunt i feel like she would have so much advice and life advice and she's just so wise did she have some questionable moments by sleeping with a man who was married yes I don't condone it. However, as the law student I am, I feel like I could come to her defense and say that, you know what? Leave the lady alone, okay? She deserved so much better than what she got in life. And even with that, she still made it. Like, <laughs> a top tier woman. Top tier, top tier, period. Next up, Brimsley. Brimsley? <laughs> Brimsley! That scene where he was dancing and then he just... <laughs> uh, that shit killed me. It killed me. Brimsley? I really wish that we got more character development with Brimsley, although it was pretty developed for what it was supposed to be. I mean, in comparison with Coral, we got to know a little bit more about Brimsley's life, but I feel like we 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 could have gotten more. And you know what, that ending, I wanna know what happened. I, Brimsley really deserved better. Actually, I was gonna put him in, you're doing amazing, sweetie, keep it up, but I feel like he deserves better. I feel like he just deserved better as a character. I feel like he just like, <sighs> he just 
that scene killed me. Uh, he top tier, top tier, top tier. Okay, okay. Next up on this list, Lord Danbury. <sighs> Absolute garbage. Lord Danbury is trash. He's garbage. And the scenes that he was in traumatized me, triggered me, traumatized me. Never want to see him again. So happy when he died. So freaking happy. There's only one scene in which he was somewhat 5% redeemable when him and Agatha were in bed and he was talking about like how, you know, as a black man, he was not allowed in the ton and in this other part of society. As much as I understand that and the political context behind Bridgerton, it's just like, I really hate him. I really hate him. No, nope, we're putting him at the bottom. We're putting him at the bottom. We're putting him at the bottom. I just, I, I hate him. I hate him so much. Next up, Charlotte's brother. What was his name again? Adolphus? Adolphi? Adolphus. Adolphus the fourth. Adolphus really, as a character, wasn't really giving me anything even when agatha had the opportunity to be with him i was like mm, no it's not really giving what it's supposed to give like i don't know what it is he just he wasn't speaking to me i get the situation i get the situation that he was in and without him charlotte wouldn't be able to you know come into royalty all of that at least in the business story but like also he just mm. after just being charlotte's brother and just marrying her off what was he really doing what was he really doing what was he was he really doing anything for y'all because he wasn't doing anything for me he i feel nothing i feel nothing meh i feel nothing it is what it is next up augusta i just <laughs> there's so many layers of problems with augusta but i don't feel like she's absolute garbage trash hear me out is she racist yeah she is she is but as we've determined on this list there's <laughs> there's other trash garbage people right see the thing is augusta though at the same time with some redeemable qualities kind of me barely she's george's mom and from a mother's point of view she really is trying to help her son and she's really trying to fight for him to make sure he's okay so i do give her that okay okay also her second redeemable quality is that as a woman in her society, she's really trying to fight off the lords and just make sure that her son is okay and that they still have power, which any woman, just like how we have Alison Hightower in Game of Thrones, right? Any woman in her time period is really just fighting for their right to survive and to live. Do I agree with anything that she did? No. And when she just dis disrespected Agatha, that's when I was like, nah, bitch, out in the trash but she does have some redeemable qualities and towards the end and she makes sure that george is, george is okay you know i was like mm, okay you're still kind of racist though so meh she's constantly trying to fight for her son as well like i can only imagine what it feels like to be in that situation however she was still racist so like I'm one lady agatha cries in front of her and she like shows some five percent of emotion i was kind of like hmm Okay, so she does feel something. But even the way she handled it was like, don't cry in front of me, bitch. I don't know you. Like, <laughs> I don't feel like she's absolute garbage like Lord Danbury, but like she's very close. Almost there, but not completely there. But also like she had to do what she had to do, but also racist mom. I don't see mm, close to the garbage, but not the worst. Almost there. Next up, the physician doctor man. What was his name? Dr. Monroe. So initially with Dr. Monroe, when he first came in and he was like, oh, I have a better method than any of you doctors out here. We just need to talk to the man. I was like, oh, okay, therapy. I think therapy is needed in the situation. Therapy, we stand therapy, love therapy. But when he started doing them little experiments and with the slugs, uh-uh out trash bin right now i really was fooled i was thought i i thought like everybody else oh he's gonna talk to this man and we're gonna get through his nervousness and we're gonna like sit down and process all the stress and anxiety that he's going through and then we're gonna come to a solution and give him coping mechanism no we're just gonna lock him in a room and torture him and make him feel worse about himself yeah no mm -mm. garbage garbage therapist he's not even therapist <laughs> also his whole history with mad patients like the fact that he was able to do that a king with the king and also like this subtle manipulation that he had trying to treat george like his dog what is that garbage immediate garbage garbage sorry not sorry no he's garbage throw him in the bin throw him in the absolute garbage bin in the bin period next up we have george king george george the th was he the third or the fourth show George honestly had my heart. He, you know, did he have his problematic moments? Yes. 
But when it got to the fourth episode and we find out this whole entire time that he's been pining over her and he's been torturing himself because he loves her, he just doesn't want her to see this bad side of him, even though it's not really bad and can be really just worked on. But like, <laughs> like that fourth episode hit me. It hit different when he was pining over her and when he said, I love you. That shit was top tier. When he was shouting and trying, I don't like that. I don't like me shouting out. But then when we got some more context to the story, I was like, okay, I'm gonna let it slide. Also, Farber George, shirtless, ah, girl. I'm not a farming type of gal. <clears throat> However, if I had a Farber George, I would be on a farm. I would be on a farm. I would, I would. Farber George could get it anytime. Ah! He can't. <laughs> Top tier, 100% stand, would fight for it, deserves the world. Okay, next up we have Lord, what's his face? Lord Ledger. So, mm, I love Lord Ledger for Lady Danbury, right? I love her, for, I love him for Agatha. He made Agatha feel something. I love that for her, but, but he liked Agatha from the beginning, but then he also had a super racist wife. Like, I don't, <laughs> thing is, it's like, would I call him a top tier person? No. I don't like the whole I'm having an affair. And plus he cheated on his wife. Do we like his wife? No. But I also don't condone cheating, you know what I mean? And it's like, mm, my guy, it's just not. But he definitely made me feel something because of Agatha. But it's like, no, are you really doing amazing, sweetie? I don't want him to keep doing it. Honestly, I'm just gonna put meh, I feel nothing. Yes, I feel a little something because Agatha got her own and she finally got to experience what passion was, but like as a character, I didn't really, it wasn't really hidden like that. I don't know, like it wasn't really um, giving what it's supposed to give. I, mm, I, I well, it kind of, mm. yeah, I feel nothing. He's in the middle for me. He's a gray character. He's like a, mm -hmm. I'm a character on his own, but I loved him for Agatha. Don't control the cheating, but loved him for Agatha. Okay, next, Reynolds. I want to know where Reynolds is. I want to know what happened to him. I want to know what happened to him because that was uncalled for. That little scene when Brinzi was dancing, tears immediately tear sadness immediately thing is with reynolds is that like i feel like we got to see more of brimsley interact and therefore like i love brimsley would stand top tier Mwah. reynolds we didn't really get to see that much of him besides the occasional moments and besides his moments with brimsley and like i feel like i needed to understand him more as a character you know what i mean like the certain times where he was trying to obviously protect George, I get it, but like, it's not top tier behavior for me, but I still love him. And I just, he deserved, he deserved better than what he got. I'm gonna put him in, you're doing amazing, sweetie, keep doing it. Even though we, I don't think he'll be able to keep doing it because I think he is dead. But if you were still alive, you're doing amazing, sweetie. You're doing amazing. He was doing his job. He was very devoted to his job. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Well, you were doing amazing, I guess. So, <laughs> finally, we have Violet Bridgerton. Violet Bridgerton surprised me. Normally, I don't really feel anything for Violet. I do love the whole friendship between her, Agatha, and Queen Charlotte. I do love that. I love women supporting women. I love that she was besties with Agatha. I do kind of feel bad for her because it was her father that Agatha was having an affair with, and to find that out and be besties with the person that your father was having an affair yeah mm, that's not like realistically that's not really cute we don't want to be experiencing that this 2023 also just like her being just at peak horniness was hilarious to me and i just think it really fleshed her out as a human being rather than just being a mom and i really love that for her and you know what she actually did make me feel something when she was super honest about how she just wanted to be touched and all of that i was like you know what girly relatable i think she's doing amazing I think she's doing the best she can. And you're doing amazing, sweetie. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep doing it. Period. We love you. And that is my definitive ranking of Queen Charlotte of Bridges and Stories characters. If you guys like more tier ranking lists, let me know because I have many shows that I need to complain, talk about, and cry about. So I have many, many thoughts about my characters and I cannot keep on disturbing my friends. You guys are my friends now. You guys are the people that I would tell about my qualms with characters. And this is not period. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you guys liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe because your girly needs it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. It's fun.